Hey guys, it's Nicole Hayes here and welcome back to my channel. So today guys, I'm doing something crazy. So I cloned myself using AI. That is right guys, I trained an AI model to look exactly like me. So I never have to take another selfie or YouTube thumbnail picture again. So <laughs> this you know this flux laura generates perfect replicas in any pose any style any clothing that i type in any location like this is insane guys i have to show you this so if you're tired of taking hundreds of photos selfies you know stick around and i'll show you exactly how to make your own ai clone in minutes Okay guys, so let's just get straight into this video. So I'm going to show you guys, I wanted to just explain a bit about what a Flux Laura is and what Flux is. So Flux is an advanced AI image generation model developed by FAO.AI designed to create hyper-realistic high-resolution images from text prompts or existing images. It's optimized for speed and quality, making it a powerful alternative to models like Stable Diffusion or Midjourney. And I really love this Flux model. Like, it really replicated me to the very T. Like, it even has my beauty marks and everything. Like, it looks exactly like me. I'm like, oh my gosh. So, I had to show you guys. I had to make this video. So, the key features is ultra fast generation, image to image control. So, you can upload an image and it will take your pose or, you know, as reference for the new image that it's going to generate. And yeah, you can fine tune. You can, um, you know, upload, like if you have certain designs that you like, you can train a flux model on all of the, you know, a lot of images. The more images you upload, the better. So it can learn, you know, the style that you're going for or even learn your face. So yes so here's how it works so you know that was a brief overview of flux so we are going to check out fal and it's a generative media platform media platform for developers it's mostly for like if you want to build apps with the apis and things like that like an image generation app or something like that but i am actually using it on fal on the fal platform so let's just log in they have i just signed in with github and yes so now we are on the foul dashboard and there's a lot to explore on here but we are just going to go to the explore page and we are going to look we are going to filter for training so yes we want to train a model on ourselves so let's go to the flux laura portrait trainer and I want to show you guys the results. My first and only clone on Fal. And this is how it works. So you can, so you can just put in a prompt. So let me just show you guys an example of like what it generated for me when I was generating some thumbnail images for my new, you know, for my healthcare agent video. Um, I went with a different thumbnail of course but this is so funny so here is the prompt a beautiful woman with deep brown eyes voluminous lashes and long luscious straight black hair wearing a sleek professional blouse this is a kind of thing that it does and so let me just show you guys an example of pictures that i uploaded i uploaded like 20 or 30 for the laura but here are some of like the source images that i did just so we could like learn my face pictures like this is like how it learns your face so then i just put in this prompt and i had ChatGPT um create me these prompts and i was using it for my aurora voice ai twitter marketing and social media marketing images basically i would upload a image of myself to gpt and i will also share this gpt that i built called prompt genius so yeah so i uploaded an image of myself and i told it to intricately describe every single detail don't miss a single detail like of my selfie so that way i would have a good base you know for the prompt and it described my hair and everything it did uh deep brown eyes voluminous lashes long wavy <laughs> black hair wearing a sleek blouse so that's like basically what all of my prompts ended up uh, started with i made sure of that and now let me just show you 
how some of these images turn out like i'm honestly very happy with the quality and i think like this is like actually really good so this is some of the images that it did and yeah i mean i was pretty happy but yeah these are the images i generated for my github and i really wanted to you know channel the web wizard vibe you know like just coding at night under the full moon and i really like it so i'm gonna keep it <laughs> yeah i really like when ai makes like you know magical mystical pictures like that so oh also i wanted to show you guys like for my upcoming digital twin video i also did um you know here's some more and yeah i did like a twin of myself so yes guys let's just get into making a new lore on myself i'm gonna show you guys the images that i'm going to upload so we are back on the foul dashboard so let's go to explore again and let's go to training right here and we're gonna train a brand new model i'm gonna train it in this hairstyle because when you make a laura it's kind of trained on all the images so like whatever your current hairstyle is it's kind of hard for the image model to you know make you with like straight hair sometimes so we are gonna do this side part hairstyle because before it was just a middle part you know with the curly hair so now we are going to go to desktop and yeah here are the uh side part source picks so honestly guys i am just going to upload all of these images and we're gonna see um how they turn out so this is some of the selfies that i took i'm just going to upload this entire folder i might take out um images that don't have the the hairstyle but i don't know yeah i think since most of them have it it's going to do it correctly so for some reason the other one failed so i think i had to upload just a smaller amount and if this one fails i'm gonna have to just upload all of them to compress them um and just make the file size smaller because yeah that could be the only reason i feel like i did that last time but yeah let's just see if these 33 images and 78.69 mb uh, goes through so let's just press start training submitted your training request has been submitted it will be processed soon so i really hope this one works okay that failed for some reason so let's see it must be um, okay so i'm gonna troubleshoot this guys and i will be right back okay guys so i used an image resizer to just upload like 30 of my selfies and then i download them as a zip file and i am just going to see if this works out so let's check the logs it looks like it's actually working but did it show that on the last time no okay so I think that it's actually working out right now. I'm going to refresh it. So I am back and it looks like this one actually went through this time. So let's just check the output. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like it went through. So <laughs> let's go ahead and run inference. Just click the play button here. And um, let's just get our prompt ready. So, okay. So I'm using, you know, my GPT. I'm just going to tell it, like, make me be in Dubai standing in front of a camel <laughs> in the desert. Let's use this. Let's just paste this prompt in the additional settings. You can choose the image size so yeah let's choose the landscape style and honestly i mean i like to turn up the inference steps to like 33 it makes it think for a bit longer in my opinion it gets it more 
accurate the i feel like the longer the more steps it takes the the more accurate but i don't like to go up too much let's just click run and we're gonna see how this turns out oh my gosh guys look at me oh m g <laughs> okay it looks like they let's just let's just run this again i absolutely love it okay i want to see okay so i want to see me being in australia with kangaroos <laughs> So let's just paste this into foul and see how it turns out. And I like how, like, I didn't really describe my hair. I didn't describe, like, in a side part. It just, like, learned from all the images I uploaded. So, yeah. And this is hilarious, guys. Like, they didn't even add, like... <laughs> any people in the back and i need to add like okay ultra realistic ultra realistic let's just try one more picture just so you guys can see that this flux laura will create any image of yourself that you can imagine in any setting in any clothing so i put in do a youtube thumbnail with me and business casual outfit looking shocked or surprised with both hands on cheek and shock um i didn't describe too much about the setting like you know an a home office or anything like that but maybe i should bright lighting just to make sure um let's say home office so let's run it okay so it did you know do something and as you can see the hands you know the fingers they look okay the nail is a bit you know but yeah i think that these prompt this is a good starting point for things like youtube you know thumbnails and things like that so i'm excited guys so yes guys if you are tired of taking your own thumbnails and having to be in the right setting the right lighting etc then making a clone of yourself i think is an amazing idea and it just saves so many hours of time so thanks for watching this video guys i will be back with more videos i'm really happy to be in honolulu and just know guys more videos are coming and thank you so much for watching if you like this video if you have more recommendations on which you know new ai models to try ai voice to try etc let me know message me on x and i will see you guys in the next video bye